Hello, this is KMeister-G, bringing you a video on Shadow's Awakening. I'm going to be playing on normal mode. I haven't played this game too much, so this is going to be a very interesting experience for me. So let's get started. Okay, this is chapter one. Perhaps I should feel some twinge of guilt at all I have done. But Ooh, I've had little time for scruples. It was once an honor to be entombed within these ancient catacombs, but centuries have passed, uh, and now More only spiders? the brave or foolhardy walk these tunnels. Perhaps I'm the last living soul here. And whatever that is. Although I'm far from alone. Ugh. This is not More my spiders. story. Although I am the architect of what transpires. A conspirator in the ruination that threatens the heretic kingdoms. And the most unlikely of alliances that might yet save us all. This seems like a very interesting start. And Mars Inca Serra Dilbarana. Thou summons me. What is thy pact? I seek only that we shall both survive. Thou hast a liar's tongue and cannot be trusted. I do not ask you to trust me, nor should you. I would betray you without hesitation <laughs> if I deemed it necessary. Interesting, man. But we are fortunate, you and I. We have the same enemies. Our only hope lies in partnership, which is Somehow precisely I don't why trust I this have guy. summoned you here, demon. Okay. Interesting. Now I've played this game before, but not too much. I've played maybe a few hours. And I've started again, um, another enemy, and hoping to uh, get a little bit further this time around. The controls are coming back to me. Is another enemy gone? These are pretty weak enemies. And some silver. Okay, so I've automatically equipped new weapon that I got. That's really handy. You were summoned without a pact. So whichever soul you devour will now bind you to a path beyond anyone's control. I remember this part from my last playthrough. So you get three archetypes to play through. Don't waste your efforts on me, demon. I'm not even here. That's a shame. You can slay me when we meet, if you must. They called him the Bandit King, a warrior. So this is the warrior archetype. He led the Guild of Steel in Pole. Never played this game with him. Sadly for Kalig, he trusted his own son a little more than he could afford. Some called him a barbarian, but few lived who did so. <laughs> That's good. Choose Kalig if you wish. I like the, the writing so far. It's actually quite funny. Warrior. Jaska, and this is the boar. ranger. A great hero in our native land of Corwin. He fell in battle over a decade ago in the accession wars against the wolf tribes of Temuria. A hunter, a loner, and an unparalleled archer. He also dabbled in the skills of an undead slaver. Undead slaver? Choose Jaska. Sounds interesting. If you wish the mobility and deadly aim of one of the greatest archers, I think I in my ever... earlier playthrough I played as an archer, but then I, I re Nevia, started the my game fire, with a mage, a princess of the Imperial Garulian Yeah, Empire. with her, she's the mage. She would have been God Empress if she had not rebelled. But I didn't get very far. There were other games that came out, so I started Crusade playing those sisters. instead. I don't know how. So I've only played maybe a, a few hours of this game. Potential. 
She had not only harnessed the elemental power of flame, but also learned the mysterious ways of the Sand Mage. Choose Evia if you wish to harness the arcane powers of a mage. So I'm Jessica, going to go as wild. He fell Jessica. in battle with the hunter. Choose Jaska if you wish them up. I like taking out enemies what from afar. Thing awakens me. If I am accursed, then I am a curse upon thee. <laughs> I really like the devourer. That soul is mine. Will you not let my weary soul rest, demon? <laughs> I really like the Jessica, voice acting. Your soul now resides within this demon. It will try to control you. But it is also bound to your will in ways I do not yet understand. Y your voice. I know you from somewhere. But why Sounds would like a back? leprechaun. I have nothing more to live for. My wife. My son. Your family may be dead, but your friends, the Malfagans, are in grave danger. I don't know who the Malfagans are. If you have nothing of your own to live for, at least save them from your fate. I like the fact that there now seems to be a bigger world me. out there in this game. My soul is mine now. Demon, you need Jasker just as much as he needs you. Your fate is as much in his hands as mine is in yours. Now make haste to the city of Thal that lies above this crypt. A cenotaph can transport you there. Our fates are bound together, demon. Either we shall find a way to survive together, or we shall both surely perish. Thou threatens me? No. Something far more dangerous than I threatens us all. Very, very intriguing. Join me in the Tholian Arcanum as soon as you can. We have much to discuss. So this is a very interesting start. So I can switch. I remember doing this in my earlier playthrough. So you can switch at random whenever you want between the two characters and the two worlds. Break some pots. Ooh, more spiders. Okay, now I can escape. Might be worth going back and picking up some stuff that I missed. Get rid of these spiders. Fairly easy to kill. Some more spiders. Oh, this one is harder to kill. Takes a few shots. Grab some money. Break some more pots. Desecrate a few more tombs. All in a day's work. empty. Do you like some silver? I don't think I can go down there. So I think I'm done here. Should be done. Did I do that? Or did you? Thou thinks there is a difference. I am no demon. Thou art mistaken. Ooh. A wasted effort. What is sanctuary? I'll find out once I kill these guys. Thou shalt never overcome Level me. Two. Excellent. Ah, uh, okay, so just a party screen. Not much I can do there. 
And remember, you can combo uh, using your your two characters, which is really cool. So I think I think I'll get this undead slaver. It might be might be useful just to have another person who can uh, take the heat from the other the characters who attack me. I think I can just assign it to one of the slots. There we go. Um, I think now I can pick some attributes for my character. Agility, okay, agility, class hunter, okay, agility is his main attribute, okay, I can dump some points in there, uh, maybe, maybe into strength rather than willpower, makes my attack stronger, yeah, so I think I'll go for strength, uh, this character, devourer, yeah, let's set yeah, let's set the skills first, I think. Possession possession sounds good. Yep, and then just assign it, I think. Yep. Okay, attribute points endurance. Yeah, I'll just dump some points in endurance and strength, agility, why not? Willpower, yeah, that'll do. Let's see the spiders. Let's get rid of these spiders. Fairly easy to kill. Yeah, remember you can change characters and then overcome obstacles. I'll just go down here, grab some stuff. Break some more paint pots. Grab some more silver. Desecrate more sarcophaguses or sarcophagi. more of these things, whatever they are. Ah, going the wrong way. And what's this? Okay, health or mana. Probably go for health. Maybe not worry about that just, just yet, I think. Oh, that's good. It's like freeze combos. Let's see if I can combo this this guy once I check out. I think that's sanctuary. Yeah, I don't need that. Let's combo this this guy. Yeah, that's really really good. So I take this guy out as well. There you go. Grab some more gear. Pull the lever. That hasn't got rid of all of them. I remember from my earlier playthrough there's another lever on the other side. I need to flip that as well. Ooh, just walked into that one. some more pots. Grab the silver. I love breaking pots. There's a lever. Ah. 
have to remember to change into this other realm. So I can grab some stuff that's in this realm and not in the other. What's this targeting? Okay. It's pretty basic how to target. It's another freeze combo. Let's try to combo these other guys and spiders. Ah. Where did he come from? Principle of gate weaving. Let's grab some more stuff around here. That freeze ability is really powerful. Mind you, these enemies are quite weak. Ooh, lots of gear. I really like the fact that if you get new gear, you can automatically just equip it if you don't have that anything in that slot equipped. Okay, I think this is fairly straightforward puzzle. I remember doing this in my earlier playthrough. Oh, come on, I should just be able to walk on that. <laughs> that was really silly. Pathetic. Yes, it was pathetic. Okay, I remember there's a boss here. There we go. Now remember you have to attack this spider in, in the other realm, otherwise you can't beat it. It has, it has a shield, and you have to take it down in this realm, so you can, you can attack it in the physical realm. It's fairly easy to beat this spider. As this is a training level, the enemies are really weak. So it's lost its shield now, so my, my ranger can attack it. You just have to skirt around the outside, freeze it, and then just use the most powerful attack. That Jasker has got. It's a fairly easy, easy battle. Ah, messed up there a little bit. I am now poisoned. I am now no longer poisoned. Almost caught the spider. A few more hits will do it. Now the interesting thing is health regenerates and it seems to also regenerate for your enemies. At least for that boss anyway. I'll just grab the rest of the stuff here. Get the loot and then we can get out of here. Grab the last of the loot. Then we can get out of this training level. This must be the cenotaph the hooded man spoke of. 
Its power reaches shadow. There is much I might do here. This cenotaph is erected upon the graves of many dead mortals. It shall be easy to gate weave back to this place should I find another such monument. And I sense a gate here already. The hooded man's work, mayhap. It must be the way out he mentioned. It is indeed the way out. This is the world map. We can now go to the house cellar. Okay, I think that will do it for today. Hope you enjoyed watching and we'll pick up uh, next time. Thank you. Bye.